One fun bushcraft activity is blowing a candle to flame with char using your flint and steel kit. Super fun. And it's super easy if you know what to do. So what we're gonna do today is take a look at how we actually do that because I know that I've used this technique in the past, especially when I'm out and I'm just having a good time. I love using flint and steel to start fires. And if I go on a camp out, be it the yurt or just in the back country with some of my friends and we're using flint and steel only, sometimes the weather might turn and maybe I wasn't prepared enough and I don't have a good bird's nest and I need to get open flame to dry out small tinder or I need to get open flame to light my shavings on fire. And that's where you can pull your candle out and use this technique. Plus it's just something different and interesting to do. Step one is we're going to ignite our charred material with our flint and steel. And then on to step two, we're gonna light our candle with the char. To do this, we want to blow oxygen onto the char. That's going to, of course, make that ember burn just a little bit hotter and expand that ember out. Ultimately, we wanna melt some of this wax as some of the wax is going to be flammable. Once we get that small little flame, that's going to help ignite that wick and then our candle is lit. Now one thing you need to remember as you do this is that it's gonna take some time. This isn't a very quick process. You gotta position the candle in the right place to get the wax to melt and drip onto the hot ember. So play around with it a little bit, take your time and enjoy it. So right now, Just working on moving my ambers around to get them in a good position for myself. This is gonna burn up a lot more of your char than you probably expect. So it's very important with this technique to make sure that as soon as you're done and you get your candle lit and your fire started, new batch of char right away. And there you go. Our candle is lit. Now I can close my char container and not worry about that and start my next fire. As I said during that process, you wanna make sure that you right away make char because that burns up a lot of your char that way. So uh, just keep that in mind. But that's how you light a candle with char. It's a fun thing to do. It's a great thing for kids. It teaches them not only flint and steel, but it teaches them flint and steel at the next level because now they have to manipulate one more component in order to get this all important flame. So this was Dan Walk, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Blow that thing out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, bushcraft is all about having a good time and this is something that's super fun. So go out, camp, flint and steel only. See how you thrive while you're out there. And as always, subscribe below, hit that button. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Till the next video, stay in the woods.